Hey guys, so told you I had some big projects going. Well, so some big things happened today. Uh, my well guy, his name's Mark, he's out of Winniewood, does a great job. He came out here, I helped him pull out my old pump. It was just corroded and dead. You can see the damage of it right here. That sucker was gone. So I told him, I said, get this thing going. I don't know anything about water wells. I've never used them before. I said, get this sucker going. Got a new pump. He redid some plumbing in here for me. My electrician got all this going basically whenever we got power to the barn. Don't forget we got power to the barn. Woo, that's nice. We've got uh, power out here and that's when we're able to get this thing going. Finally got my well guy out here because we got our power straight, got our 220 amps going. And this is where the pump goes down in here. It was only in there 33 feet when we pulled it out and he put it basically about the same level last time and uh, rigged all this up for me. I know there's lots of wires and stuff around. I'm using the, got an outlet here, which is nice. Got a light bulb here. Um, so air pressure tank. I really don't know a ton about these, but I'll tell you what, when he came out here and he tested the water, Guys, it, it had, it was pumping 30 gallons a minute and he said, that's really good. So I said, all right, well, I've been wanting to do these uh, automatic water systems um, throughout our pastures, throughout our paddocks. And so uh, it started right here and we have a well that was already here, already drilled from the old dairy farm. And so I got it going. And that's basically what, uh, what I'm talking here about. He's got us a hook up here for the hose we can run to. We've got a one inch line. So here's our shutoff for our main. We're gonna come out here. There's an old line there. It looks like it's a inch or three quarters. But off of this, we're gonna come with our inch and we're gonna be able to start our watering systems. So really excited that he got all this set up for me. And we got a lot of the old stuff replaced, the new stuff. So this is an old existing line here. It's gonna come out, so that was pretty easy. We're gonna trench all the way down into the pastures where I'm gonna set up some water systems. So what am I gonna get? Well, there's lots of choices out there and I've talked to a lot of people. What are we gonna get for our water systems? What can we get that is gonna keep bison from breaking it? You guys know how Dunbar is when he's just being himself, he's being a jack wagon. You guys know that he can destroy stuff. Um, so what we did is I took advice from Doc Parsons up at Stratford Animal Hospital, you guys know. My bison guy that I take a lot of advice from who's done it for a long time. And a lot of people in the north, <clears throat> this is becoming more and more popular and it's actually tough to find these, but I've got a couple and I'm gonna get a couple more. We're gonna use these right here. So you may have seen these before. They're old, I call them loader tires, but they're on these big machinery, big old trucks. This is not your normal tractor tire. Um, you can tell they've sat here for a minute because I, I got them last year free. I got these free. This sucker looks like it's hardly been used. This one has seen better days, but um, this one, it was bad, had a bad wall. And so there's nothing they can do with these. So. I was able to get them for free, which is awesome. Because if you get into some automatic water systems, and I know there's people out there that use them. I just was trying to find something that was indestructible, okay? And um, I didn't want to spend a bunch of money on those fancy water systems. I know, you know, it may be smart, but in the end, this is gonna last. I mean, this sucker is thick. I, I, I'm gonna have a heck of a time. I've got to cut out this ring with my Sawzall. It's gonna, I've heard it takes a lot of blades too, by the way. But basically, we're gonna cut all the way around here and around here, but this, like on a day like this, if it was below freezing, that sun's coming down on this and it's gonna heat this up and it's gonna keep it from freezing, keep the water from freezing. Not that it gets very cold here, in Oklahoma, but the other thing is we're gonna put concrete on the inside of this and our one inch line is gonna come up with an automatic water valve on it. And 
these things are going to be sunk in concrete and i mean the only way you can move them is with the tractor that's how heavy these guys are and so i'm really excited to use them i'm gonna put at least three out on the farm so yes that's what i'm using a lot of you said something to me before when i mentioned what i'm using for my water systems you were asking about the toxins in the rubber well guys i haven't heard anything about toxins i'm sure there's some uh out there but i haven't heard anything bad about these uh to be honest with you they're big and heavy and you got to have a tractor to move them you got to set them in concrete there's some labor behind this and so i've got some work to do this is a big project too because once we get the water established you know what that means we can do rotational grazing and we can move the bison around so excited to get this going because this is actually one of the last big projects we have on this property um for our bison and uh guys we'll be we will be clicking at that point and so uh just at that point we're just going to continue to grow the herd which is my goal next thing is i'm going to trench i gotta hook up the hoses inside of the well house i've got to hook that stuff up we're going to run a one inch schedule 40 pipe out through the pastures and this may be uh, quite a process i may be breaking this down into you know a couple of videos so stay tuned guys and watch as i do all this work for the bison to try to get our water system established so as far back to the well house i've got to get a door over this i've got to insulate this thing filling all the cracks kevin and i put a new uh roof on it with some sheet metal um made it out of sea perlin because we had to tear the the existing structure off it was wood and it was old and rotted i had to tear up tear out the old door and the door frame so we've got a i've got some fill in crack stuff i'm going to fill in here some sealant and then i've got some insulated boarding i'm going to put up here between uh, the sea perlin up against the sheet metal gonna get this thing ready because you've got to keep it warm um in the winter obviously and you can't have anything freeze up or we'll have some issues going Colorado and then Amber Ridge. 